Welcome to Seco Talks. Today we will talk about sensor manifolds using vacuum furnaces. My name is Adam Adamek and our guest today is Wiesław Fujak, expert in the field of vacuum furnaces. Hello. Hello Adam. Thank you for the invitation. I hope I will be able to say something interesting about the sensor manifold. I'm sure. <laughs> now we will go to the workshop to talk about the details. Let's go. We are now in our R&D department because we need some smaller furnace to show you everything. And let's start with the basics. Wiesław, can you explain the basics of uh, vacuum and pressure manifold using vacuum furnaces? Yes, as you can see here, we have the sensor manifold or sensor collector. And in my opinion, it is uh, one of the most important elements of the furnace. Why? Because some of these elements, some of these gauges are responsible for the safety. Okay. Some of them, they are responsible for the control. And from the second hand, there is a gauge is responsible for the vacuum and also the gauge is responsible for the overpressure. For overpressure. Everything is uh, located in one place. Everything, not, not exactly. Most of them, they are located in the collector. Some of them, they are collected also. They, they are installed on the uh, pipeline, uh, vacuum pipeline. It's very interesting. And because we are now in front of vacuum furnace, but we have to start, in my opinion, about pressure. So say something about pressure sensors. Yes, on the, on the sensor manifold, we have uh, two types of the pressure gauge, pressure sensors. One of them, they are responsible for the uh, safety. The second one is responsible for the control. And on the first place, we have the analog contact gauge. This contact gauge is responsible for the start of the blower, but uh, also is responsible to cut off the inlet gas valve if the pressure is over the setup. Okay, so this, uh, the first sensor makes our process, let's say, safety. Safety, yeah. Uh, this is the gauge responsible for the safety. Do we, moni do one? we monitor or uh, record this? Uh, yes, we, but everything is collected in the, our system. Okay. I will say later on. Also the safety gauges. Yes. And the uh, second gauge, this is a gauge, differential uh, pressure gauge. This gauge is responsible for the safety operation during the opening the door, this one, exactly. And the second function, it is a start-off of the blower in the furnaces with the very high pressure. Okay, I see some indicators so the operator can see visually yes. the results, but also everything is connected it is, to the yes. system. It is especially important if the operator opens the door he can see what is the real pressure inside the furnace. He do not need to see in the computer. Yeah, that's why we are in the same place. To open exactly. the door and check exactly. the values, okay? Yeah. And the third uh, pressure gauge, this is an analog pressure gauge, and this gauge is responsible for the uh, pressure, pressure level in the furnace. And also is responsible for the start-off of the blower and convection fan. Thank you. And theoretical question, what happens if the pressure is too high? If the pressure is too high, first, uh, first one, this uh, gauge controls the pressure, okay. level of the pressure. Then we have the safety gauge, which also controls of the pressure. If the pressure is too high, this gauge closes the inlet valve. Okay. So that's why we have full safety operation. Exactly. Wiesław, many times if we talk to our potential or existing customers, we talk about the processing, but for maintenance people, this is always important how to maintain the equipment. And in terms of uh, pressure sensors, what is important in this case? Yes, of course, each element requires some maintenance and uh, this contact gauges also require such maintenance and it's of course necessary to clean from time to time to clean in such gauges, but also because they are responsible for the safety. This is also necessary to replace 
even for the new one after uh, some times of operation after up, after up, after three or four uh, years of operation of operation exactly but they are also connected to the our safety system then our safety system also control condition of these gauges then we if something happened then we have information about the the something is wrong interesting we both represent vacuum department so let's move on to the vacuum and if you can say what differ vacuum sensors from the pressure sensors yes a few minutes ago uh, we discussed about the overpressure and the overpressure gauges but also on the furnace we have the vacuum gauges and for example in this furnace we have the main vacuum gauge ptr this gauge is responsible for the measuring uh, measuring the vacuum in the all range from the ambient pressure to the end pressure and also in this furnace we have the two ceramic uh, vacuum gauges and these gauges are responsible for the control of the partial pressure why two because this is a special type of the gauges ctr which can measure the different kind of the gases but if the partial pressure if have the different ranges then we have to install for example as in this case two different gauges each one measure different part of the, the partial pressure okay and this furnace is our R&D furnace so multifunctional furnace yeah. especially dedicated for brazing but i understand that the more gases in the furnace and the more ranges the more pressure uh, the more vacuum sensors Yes, if we discuss uh, about the gases different as uh, nitrogen and argon. Mm -hmm. If we have the argon if, and if we have the nitrogen, we can use the standard vacuum gauges. I see one difference between the pressure and vacuum. I mean the connecting points. Would you like to say something about this? Yes, strange. Uh, yeah, yeah. Type? Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum gauges. Unfortunately, they, they are much more sensitive for the impurities. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have to install some some kind of the special protection. separator, some kind of the special protection. And in the, our case, we have something like the copper tube, which uh, can condensate all impurities. Wiesław, I heard from our service engineers that this has some special nickname. Yes, we call for this equipment Pig Tile. Okay, easy to remember. So far, so good. And as with every equipment, it will need some maintenance. And how about vacuum gauges and their maintenance? Yes, as well, the vacuum gauges also require the, some maintenance. Uh, especially because you can see we have some kind, uh, some some kind of special filter on the on the this equipment, and first of all, it's necessary to from time to time to clean mm -hmm. of these gauges. Fortunately, these gauges also connect to our, our PLC, and if something happens uh, mechanically, for example, in the gauges, then our PLC can show. So you don't need to remove them visually inspect or check and you can observe the we can observe the our plc this is a first step second one we can clean from time to time and also what is a very important if the furnace is uh, made for the uh, aircraft market for example then in, according to the ims uh, norm this is very important to make the calibration of these gauge, gauges according to the ims norms to be sure that they are measuring correctly exactly. Correct values. Yeah, and they, they 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 are in good condition. Yes. Yes. And if you install the furnace not in aerospace market, do you need uh, calibration as well? It's not needed, but I know that the many customer make the calibration as well to be sure that the, the gauges show correct value. Perfect. Thank you, Bieslav. Thank you very much for interesting overview. Thank you, Adam, as I said, for the invitation. I know, of course, the, this topic is very deep. Yeah. And if somebody would like to have the more information, please contact to us. We can try to answer. You can always also write a comment below the video. Thank you for watching this episode of Seco Talks. Don't forget to follow us and see you next time.